go, Tony, for the uh, round the, one. The opening here of the MTGP8 live here in Athens, Greece. Well, we saw Vasiliadis on the last Muay Thai Grand Prix in Greece. He fought Athenodoro Mikhailidi, who's a, a well known MMA and Muay Thai practitioner. Uh, Vasiliadis lost the decision, but take nothing away from this guy. He's one of the most technical Muay Thai fighters here in Greece. Very traditional Thai style. That's right. I believe these two also met on the amateur circuit, shin pads, and uh, I think. If I'm right, that uh, decision went to Vasiliadis on points. So I know that Marculius uh, will be looking for revenge this evening. You see both guys are really experienced and very poised. There's not a lot of wasted energy in either of their shots. Yeah, and this is uh, three three-minute rounds here. Muay Thai rules. Luis just seems to have a little smile on his face. Yeah, it looks like he's kind of a giggling at Vasiliadis' movement. <laughs> Very nice combination of Vasiliadis. See, Vasiliadis has split his right shin there with uh, one of those kicks. Well, let's see if that affects him later on in the fight. You can actually, <laughs> weirdly, see on Lewis's shin the point where it landed yeah. with a bit of his blood spotted. <laughs> nice catch of the kick from Lewis. Now this is where things change up for this evening's action and we go into the Muay Thai clinch and uh, the referee will allow the guys to work as long as they're working and moving for position and throwing knees. He should let it go, he should let it keep going. Just uh, landing that left body kick really nicely throughout the fight so far. Yeah. So now they seem to want to use uh, combinations in with the low kick. They both work really hard in the clinch. I like their clinch battles. Last 10 seconds here of round one. Great combination there by Vasiliadis. He's been throwing that combination almost exactly the same. And he adds it either to the leg or to the body. Hide that away. Keep it uh, under wraps. But Round two. That won't last throughout the fight. <laughs> no. Aggression, aggression there from uh, Marculius. Marculius has a little more intensity in this one. So uh, Philip Chu, head trainer at uh, Team Chu and director of Muay Thai Grand Prix, uh, having a, a word with Lewis there in the corner, telling him to work that left uppercut elbow, stepping on it as uh, Vasiliadis comes forward. So it'll be interesting to see where he does that. Nice left kicking from uh, Merculius at the moment. I like, I like Vasiliadis' style as well. It's a good matchup, this. It's a very good match, a very technical match. He yeah, doesn't do a lot of wasted energy. There you go. There's the up and up that talked about. Yeah, he's listening to his corner. That's a good sign. Oh, oh nice. Nice work there. A great kick from Vasiliadis, just pushing him off the mark. Again, left kick, just pushing him over. Big score. He needs to get out of the corner. Get his weight forward a bit more, Maculius. Yeah, so now this is pushing forward. I really like how calm Vasilyadis is while he's pushing forward, even when he's under attack. Defensive response will always think about checking the kicks. Oh, yeah, nice combinations there from Vasilyadis. Good kick to the body. Oh. 
Okay, a little sneaky teep there, a little push kick to the front leg, just taking his opponent off, off his feet. Great little move there from Vasiladis. I like little things like that, that, that change a fight. Yeah, it changes the rhythm, you know, it's a, it's a huge thing not to let your opponent get momentum on you. Yeah, very much. It's easy to get dragged into fighting somebody else's fight, whereas if you can upset their rhythm, you can start to dictate the pace yourself. Asimiadi seems like he really oh. wants to push his nice elbow. Yeah, elbows are coming now from both gentlemen. Here's where we see the change up in full Muay Thai rules. I think Masiliadis really wants to put the pressure. He doesn't want to let the judges think he sat back. I think he thinks he sat back a little too much in his last show in the Muay Thai uh, He wants to really push forward. There's that little teep again, but just not having the same effect this time. Lewis. Marculius just got wise to that. Here we go for round three of three. Full Muay Thai rules. The elbows are flying. Both fighters are using the clinch offensively, not just in a position to get the win. I see that quite a bit here in the early three games, the last two I like the way they are, uh, that Valis, Vasilias, Vasiliadis uh, uses his head in the clinch as well, which is perfectly legal in Thai boxing and in full Muay Thai. It's a great way to not only use your arms to manipulate position, but use your head as well to push your opponent off balance and then work your own techniques. When you learn wrestling, even basic Roman Greco wrestling, the head position is the most important part, and Roman Greco wrestling and Thai clinching have a lot of similarities in uh, what's important. I think that using the head might be way underrated in Muay Thai. Oh, like, spinning elbow there from Marculias. There's a potential low blow there, but... Yeah, but the referee did the right thing. I mean, in Thai, if you're in Thailand, you... you you're, you carry on or you get an eight count. There's no stopping for groin shots. If they're accidental, um, unfortunately, you just have to suck it up and continue. If it's continually done, then the referee will have a chat. But the odd, if there's an odd groin shot goes in, and it's quite funny seeing the, uh, the reactions of people when they try to stop and expect a breather. Unfortunately, that does not happen in Muay Thai. You fight, oh, big elbow there. And they give a high five appreciating each other's technique. That might have been the biggest shot though of this fight, the cleanest shot landed. T to the leg again. Nice head kick of him. Yeah, Locked good shot. I'd like to see him mark, mark to the end. Jumping low kick. Yeah, Marculius needs to get his, get his body weight forward a bit. He's getting pushed back too much by Vasiliadis. Yeah, the rounds are getting less and less close because Marculius is kind of on his back foot too much. Your judges have reached a unanimous decision. For your winner, from the red corner!